Schultz, Tom Brady, he's one of the greatest, if not the greatest, to ever do it. Do you agree with him, though, on this take, that Allen will be first to win his first? This is the rarest of rare TV 12 L's. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a big L. It's a big L. No, I mean, you, you trade away one of the best receivers in the league. The last four years, Stephon Diggs, 1,100 yards, eight TDs every year. Book it. I know he slowed down the second half of last year. He's a terrific player. Yeah. So you can't trade him away and then say, we're going to be fine. Now, I know Brandon Bean, the GM, said, we're going to be just fine. We're still going to have success. They have Khalil Shakir and Dalton Kincaid right now. They also lost Gabe Davis. So here's the number. They're 53 and 22, Josh Allen is with Diggs. He's 15 and 14 without him. And the efficiency drops considerably. Now, I think Josh Allen's a phenomenal player. But anytime you lose that type of player, you're going to have issues. Now, Patrick Mahomes, that was a unicorn situation with Tyreek Hill. I, 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 don't, I don't, what everyone else says, they, they, they win two Super Bowls without him. That was freakish. And Josh Allen's not Patrick Mahomes with respect to him. He's phenomenal, not Patrick Mahomes. I got the Detroit Lions. That's the next first quarterback to win a Super Bowl. Jared Goff. Oh, go Jared Goff. Goff. Ooh, that's it. Yeah, Schultz. Now, wow. you're going to look at me like I'm nuts. No, I'm about to swell. Wow. I seen you up in there eating uh, today. What, what, what was in there? <laughs> so <you were> <laughs> <trying to laughs> I had a mean green oh, smoothie. Man, you Lisa didn't, didn't spill. A berry bread. He had something in there, George Ward, because he, he, he <laughs> tripping up here today. Boy, he said golf? He said golf. This is why I think Jared Goff mm, is, wow. is like going to be the next quarterback to win his first Super Bowl. Gotcha. So they were up 24 to 7 on the Niners. Mm -hmm. They blew that game. MCDC, great coach. Yeah. Some questionable uh, decision making there down the stretch. They have Jameer Gibbs, speed yeah. kills, phenomenal player. Mm -hmm. They have Sam Laporta, already one of the premier tight ends in the league. Phenomenal offensive line. Mm. Sewell's the, one of the best left tackles in football. No question. Amon Ross St. Brown's about to get paid. And yep. Jared Goff is about to get the stamp mm. with 40, 45, maybe $50 million extension mm. this offseason. Mm. So you're going you're gonna to tell your quarterback, we got you. It. I don't see it. Why not? They also got their offensive coordinator it. back, Ben Johnson. I love Ben Johnson, but I don't think Goff, What's the issue with Goff is not good enough given that Detroit is not good enough. Right, like you could say golf is not good enough if Detroit had a, the best roster in football, a la the San Francisco 49ers. But I don't think golf is good enough, given the fact that Detroit is not like a generational roster. I like golf, but I don't. I just don't think he has like it, like okay. like Super Bowl it, like have to make the play because he had I mean, the he opportunity. He has been to a Super Bowl, no doubt. And even his own coach looked at him and well, said, "You're not good enough." Mm, did he? I, How'd he do that? Got him up out of there. And oh, then got a oh, new player. Oh, McVay. McVay. Yeah. McVay. I thought got a new player about. and then Can't went up there and won one. James, where you at with it, bro? You agree with Tony? Am I supposed to pick a guy? Because he just gave me hope. It's Jordan Love. <laughs> <laughs> my man, my man. Mean... No, um, I think Tom Brady, I think Josh may be one of his favorites. And he wants to see him win yeah, Super likewise. Bowl before everybody. But with what they have done in Buffalo, because we're talking Stephon Diggs, they have lost almost Lots. everybody on the defensive side of the ball. And you got your linebacker coming back off of an ACL, mm -hmm. a leg injury. Milano. Who knows what Milano's going to look like? They just had so many setbacks. I do think Josh will play well, but when you talk about a Super Bowl caliber team, the Buffalo Bills are not that caliber team no more. To be honest with you, when you talk about teams that... I feel like have a better shot to get there is Lamar Jackson, is uh, Jordan Love, is Jared Goff. It's so many more quarterbacks that teams are built better to go chase this championship. And I think one of those guys will end up getting it eventually before Josh Allen just because of the setbacks they've had over there in Buffalo. Well said, well said, well said. Uh, where are you at, Joy? I love it. Hmm. Thank you for that. I, I mean, I, I try to speak very highly of Jared Goff. <laughs> also, I've been pitched for the past couple weeks that the Lions are going to drop off the face of the planet and the Packers, too. No, so. no, no. They're going to be in the mix. But you're, you're anti-Detroit. No, I love it. I think no, it's no, great no. take. Okay. Um, I, I don't want to disagree with the GOAT, so if this ever gets to him, I never said any of this. <laughs> but uh, it's not about Josh Allen. It's about the Bills. I think that's what we're all saying. Right? Absolutely. Like, it is not about Josh Allen's ability. It's not what he's shown he's capable of doing. He was absolutely tremendous down the stretch, a hole that he kind of put them in. But course corrected, stole the division from the Dolphins. He's an, a, a great player. But as far as setup for the Super Bowl, I think Lamar's in a better position right now. I think the Lions are in a better position right now. I think CJ Stroud's in a better position right now. <coughs> Joe Burrow. <coughs> I think the Packers are Thank in you. a better position right now. I mean, the way that we're talking, the Bears are in a better position right now. Ooh. The Bears. I don't think roster. I don't, I don't know. She's saying it's it's real. I'm being a little sarcastic there, but I, what, what I'm saying is I and, and I don't like what we've heard from them about what they're planning to do to replace Stephon Diggs. Mm. 
Now, again, this is a silly situation, in my opinion, to be in because this is all about personality. And like, if you're if, if we're dropping Josh and the Bills out of Super Bowl contention off of one player, and the issue that got him up out of there was personality, I really don't have a lot of sympathy yeah, for you. Like, no, you gotta, they lost a lot. You got to figure it out. But it is more than yeah, just it's more than just different. So yeah, I mean, I I do think that Josh Allen is a is someone that if I had to bet that they will win a Super Bowl in their NFL career or not, I would okay. I would say that he has the capability of doing that. Is it going to be the next one to do it? Meaning mm. someone other than Patrick Mahomes? Mm. I would probably take the field. I mean, yeah, the Bills weren't going to win before they lost Diggs. Mm. The Bills window been closed. I, I, I been, y'all know I've been early. I've been saying that since 2022. Bills window been closed. Because I knew the Bills weren't going to be as good the past year because everybody got older. Now not only did everybody get older, everybody got gone. Mm. Poirier was older, Hyde was older, Vaughn was older, Milano was older, White was older. Mm. Now, not only are they all older, now they're either gone or even older. So the Bills window, no, that's, that's, that's not an option. Mm. Uh, you're saying something, Schultz. They got, a, they, they got objectively worse. I, I don't know how else yeah. you can say it. I mean, with, with respect to the, to the front office, they also lost Tyrell Dotson, good linebacker, lost a pass rusher. I mean, it's just their team is not only worse, but they're in a really tough conference and a division that has Tua and a pretty good Miami team. And, and a Jets team that I we think is going to be honest, better. I got to be honest, I know I might be the most critical person on this desk. Sean McDermott got to show me something. I, I agree. Because I agree. to me, I can't go a thousand percent with you, Joy, that it's not an indictment of Josh. Because if it was Pat and Andy with this same roster, we'd still be giving them a chance. Yeah, so but, Josh I mean, got to take. Let's, say, let's take Pat and Andy out of it. But, but I can't because they play the same game. Yeah, but they're they are outliers. Okay? Yes, they are but the current dynasty, they're the best of the best. But if you're Josh, you can't take Pat out of anything. You can never just sit there and concede. Well, Pat. I mean, off. he's First not off, let's just say Andy would never let this happen. One. They, they, that, like, that's, but that's all also, these good players out of there, Andy would never let. No but, question. But the crazy thing is, though, is like when you look at the Bills roster and you look at that, I'm like. It's so it's so void of everything now. It's just it's just it's just bad. It and is. they and they had the opportunity three years ago and they didn't capitalize. And two years ago and they didn't capitalize. I don't see them. Uh, to me, they're in a subtle rebuild. I don't know if anybody notices it yet. Yeah. But they are in a rebuild. Well, you know, I think they are in a rebuild. It just doesn't feel that way because they have Josh Allen. Correct. But mm -hmm. outside of that, I, it just I, sucks too because they dealt with a lot of. Yeah, it. they did. Mm -hmm. I do think they're going to take a couple receivers in the draft, so we we got to take that into consideration. Yeah. But I also think. To your, to your guys' point that they're trending down as opposed to up. Mm -hmm. Exponentially. Mm -hmm. oh. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.